We're back! K-pop! Unlock to us! Here for another one! With the lovely ladies of G Idol. La da da! You like? You like? I mean, yeah, they're great. Yeah, all you Neverlanders out there, we can't quit you. I mean, we're joining you. We're gonna whisk ourselves away to an eternal childhood with G Idol. Uh, we covered this once before. We had some issues yesterday uh, with audio. Forced me to reboot the whole system and change everything out. Would have been nice if I noticed that when we were recording. Uh, but unfortunately, didn't pick it up till we finished it all. And by that point, far too lazy to do it. And uh, I could have put audio in. But with the many pauses for deep, penetrating thoughts, it would just be too much of a pain in the pooper. So we said, what the heck, we'll just re-record it, get a second viewing of the video, and here we are! We chose this one, one, because we wanted to get to the nitty-gritty, the early origin stories, we love it for the band. But also, because this has uh, the missing link from the band in Sujin? recent videos. Sujin. She got that <coughs> boot from the band, or she left. It's sort of in the shadows, we don't know. You can't really get a clear answer online. A lot of uh, theories, messy. a lot of lore about what happened. What do you Neverlanders know? Neverlands, I guess. Neverland. I'm going to add the er onto it when it seems appropriate in the way I'm saying the sentence. But you know what I'm talking about. Uh, let us know in the likes and, well, just the comments, <laughs> not the <laughs> likes. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, what, like. what do you know about this girl and what happened? What are your theories? They uh, keep it uh, very much in the dark, it would seem. Some say she left of her own accord to avoid band embarrassment when these false rumors flew. Others say she got the big boot. I don't know. <laughs> we may never know. Unless she comes on the show and clears up her story. Lickety split. We're talking to you, Lawyer Juice. Uh, yeah, so I'm interested. I did say I would keep all these intros to under three minutes. Ku is keeping a clock these days because I know you guys want to get into the action. Guys and gals. And whatever. So I guess we'll just uh, wrap right into la da da and see what they're bringing to the table. Do let us know in the comments, though, yep. stuff you know about the video and what just happened in that whole situation. We also heard that she just rebooted her solo career or just came out again with a new song yeah so maybe we'll cover that any of you guys check that one out yet what's it called mona lisa, mona lisa. that makes me smile yeah so i wanted to go back to this did i already say that to get a better understanding of uh i think you said that off air or maybe i just lightly recapped it okay but do say Oh yeah, just a lot of these groups. I wanted to get back to their their beginnings to understand, get a better understanding of where they're at now. Right. Has the music changed? Has it changed? Are they more fury and in your face than ever? Uh, as the style. Anyway, we'll see. We kind of saw on the last one, but now we'll get an even more in depth look. So let's just get into it. The G Idol. La da da. Cool platform, scary cat mask. Lollipop. She was a little too quick to accept that. When some stranger pops out from behind a couch with a lollipop, 
I'm maybe going to take a, take a beat, figure that out before I just reach out and pluck it out of their hand. Just saying. You had mentioned, oh, sorry. Yeah. You had mentioned uh, something about Yuki's voice that stood out to you. Um, you said uh, you were kind of surprised. Oh, yeah, because her face doesn't match the power of her voice to me. How do we get back there? There she is. She has such, like, a, a cherub child face, <laughs> but her voice comes out with just a lot of strength and passion. It just surprises me. It doesn't match up to me. If I was listening to the... It's sort of like when, like... You listen to some like deep, rich Luther Vandrossy voice of someone on a song, and then you see the video, and it's some like 1950s white guy. And you're like, "What? How did that happen?" <laughs> okay, it doesn't it doesn't quite fit, but it's a testament to her power. Let's get it back, as if we don't have tomorrow. Today is tomorrow, or yesterday is now today. I don't know. Let's keep it going. Those are stolen shoes. Wait, is she selling the Persian rugs? I was wondering why there are so many rugs up on the wall, and then it looks like she's a rug salesman. It's the background on this one. That and a mysterious person popping out and handing lollipops out in exchange for shoes. I like those boots. She opted for heels. Everyone else stomping mm. around. Nice. I can't really tell what she's wearing. Hey, I need to sell those. Video games, going golfing. <laughs> right, she's on fire. I forgot about that part. Whoopsie. And then she's about to put it off, put it out with the uh, fire extinguisher, with the fire engine behind them. I remember we were talking about that last time. Yeah. There's some interesting stuff going on in this video. And I, yeah, there is. I didn't, I didn't notice, but in the beginning, the truck is also there too. What is it? It has the um, the ladder or crane that 
the boom is up oh. in the beginning. Interesting. Every day, the la da da, 06, 60, 84, 89, 03. What does that jibber jabber mean? La chair. Because. So, that's the serial number of the truck. Could be. No, what does loca gruz mean? Fire truck? Loca. And I have a crush on you comes through the window, I which think... I can't tell if that's a reflection or in there. It's probably I think loca was part of the lyrics. Loca? Well, loco. Yeah, I think she said. It's crazy. Right. I think she said, I'm loca at one point in the lyrics. All right, maybe. But I don't know maybe. about the. I don't know about that second part. I don't know. I like it though. Uh, they have a. It's a good song. I like the sort of simple backbeat and the. I love you. Yeah. Every day at the la da da. I, I'm not sure what the song is. It about the friendship between them? It feel like it is. Well, yeah. She loves maybe. the other people, and I then they're so. going around playing sports, talking about how much fun they're I think having. So. I mean, yeah, because it's I love a yeah, yeah. And then they set Soyon on fire. <laughs> a, a show Soyon's of love. On fire. She's always on fire. Fire. Yeah, but it's good. It's a simple. I mean, it's a good one. I forget what I said. I would play it in. In a, it still seems kind of like a montagey song, like a lot of them do. But. I like this one. Read the card. Her particular part of uh, Sujin. Pretty much liked all of G Idol songs. I'd agree with that. Sujin doesn't have that much of a pronounced part where I feel like I can get a real bearing on yeah. her particular sure. edition. Let's give it one more go, though. I mean, they're all good. See, there's the truck and the... Oh, yeah. That's a recurring theme. It's up this time. Interesting. What could she have possibly done? Who is she pulling? She's five foot two. <laughs> Some, she right. ran a day to veto at a bar An and said another... something mean. Another five foot two person? Yeah, I guess. I don't know. People could be very vicious with their words. But then you were saying that she didn't. That she was actually the one being bullied, maybe. Um, In yeah. hindsight. Yeah, I guess her legal team came out and said, found that she was the one who was actually being. Or it was the school or something. Something to that effect. It, it got really. Hazy. I couldn't. I couldn't make clear sense out of the whole issue. I, I know it's kind of old news, but um, not to us. <laughs> yeah, not to us. Um, but yeah, I don't think. I would like to think that she is redeemed. I mean, people are going that she didn't it. do it. So would I. But Neverland, let us know where do you stand. Tragic loss, or she had it coming? Do you want her back? Are you hoping for a reunion? Are you guys checking out her new solo work? Because I feel like we have to check out her solo work now, because now I want to see what she's bringing in outside of the rest of the band. It's something that just gives a little bit more time, because when you're in a band uh, with several people, you're splitting the time, right? But that was the other thing we said. <laughs> now, it's, Now it's all on her. So even... So she got her alternate career, but now she has to do everything with her new one. So a lot more pressure in that situation. I'm interested to see what she does with it. They tend to put out good solo, and you. It's more interesting because you feel you get uh, sort of dip, deeper insight into the individuals when you see their little solo tracks that go outside and what they choose to go with. Yeah. So it'll be interesting to see. Uh. Did she just go by her name? Sujin. Sujin. Makes sense. Makes sense. Anyway, I don't want to beat a dead horse because we already, well, I guess no one saw the rest of the stuff. But the last one, you should have seen how insightful and deep cutting it was. Covered oh. all the music. 
and all that. <laughs> it was crap. It was, it was pretty messy. <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. Right a little long. But uh, I'll just say I enjoyed that song. I don't know where it falls in the tier of the songs. The video had some interesting stuff. It looked like a fun one to shoot. Yeah. Where they get to golf and do stuff like that. Yeah. Throwing yeah. up. Is that a symbol of theirs? The peace sign and these yeah. hands or they strike it both. Is she smoking? Oh, wait. Oh, there it is. So it looks like now she's not on fire, but is she? <laughs> she's holding the torch behind her back. <laughs> Ray to set. <laughs> Zoyan on it. fire. Acting completely innocent. She's like, you can stick me on the right side again, Soyan. Okay. Okay. Is there a moment where you see... No, you don't. It just sort of pops out of nowhere. And she's like, oh my god, how did this happen? I can't believe it. She's guilty of sin. The truth came out. That's why you come to this channel. Because we... We look at the minor grainy details and we find out the truth for you. She looks worried. She looks entertained. She looks falsely surprised. <laughs> She's just like, what? Again? She's just like, oh my god. <laughs> and she wants to like go put it out, but she's uh, pulling her back. Okay. I don't know. But yeah, there's a little too much joy there. I think she might have been in on it. There's a lot of rings on those fingers too. She's got the look. They've got the beat. They've got the beat. That's a fun song though. And I like to see the gals getting along, going out. I'll go shoot golf with you girls anytime. Just need to put that invite. But first, we're gonna need to clear the air with Sujin. They're in the. So. Uh... I think they're going to be in L.A. in August. Oh, a little la da da in the la-la land, eh? Mm -hmm. My August is currently open. Sweet. Do we know where they're playing in L.A., by chance? I don't think there's any dates. Are I'll they have, going? I'll have to look. Do they the... play, like, full stadium concerts, or are they? can you get them in a more intimate venue? Uh, I have seen some fan cams. It looks like. They're in some fairly big arenas. All right. I mean, obviously, they're pretty popular. Millions of fans. But yeah. if I could see... Sometimes you can catch those bands in a good one. That's what we said before. The bands we like growing up were all very big to us, but not most of them. Like, there would be shows where, like at the Long Beach Arena and stuff. But you could also catch a lot of them in very intimate venues yeah, where we, you felt like you're right up there with the artist. Yeah, we were lucky. Yeah, so that's always great. So hopefully they play one of those bad boys. Although I feel like it's still going to have a ton of people and then I'm going to feel smothered in there. Well, as long as we get the, the seats right, you're, you're good. Yes, I need to sit constantly. It's 90% of my day I try to get sitting you. or laying go down there in the the down there in front yeah that yeah <laughs> not not these days you know i put i showed you i put like the heartbeat thing on my phone i was trying to check my hearing on the iphone okay and then it recorded the steps it's like you you did 78 steps today <laughs> 78 and i was like oh well i just turned it on but then it's oh, but man. then it goes into the past. It's like, that's 24 more steps than yesterday. Ouch. <laughs> so I basically went to the bathroom and back to the fridge, grabbed something to eat and back. To the car. To the car, which is about, that's about 20 feet right there. That's where so, all your steps come from. Yeah. So the big bulk go. is to the car to, and back. You need to park farther away is what you need to do. I, I think so. I mean, I used to walk back from the charging station because I knew I had to ride back here. But then my man sold his car. So now I would have to walk back or pay for a ride back or figure out how to ride a bicycle. And that just ain't happening. So now I do more sitting in the car. But I would... Sorry to change the subject here. Change I gears. I would... I would die. I would love to see... G-Idol. 
you up front just just to see them get a look at you to get a glimpse, <laughs> just to get a glimpse and see their reaction or i mean they're pros they probably wouldn't care they're, that's true they just but, be like uh, huh i didn't know we were bringing uh bringing that in but <laughs> but i would i would love to see that no they may get their chance you guys may i'll have ku uh with a fan cam out just watching my starstruck reaction I'd probably put my elbows on the stage and just do this the whole time. That's how I like to show my affection for bands. Fingers crossed, this August, we'll get there. And maybe you'll get to enjoy a little bit of it. But we'll let you go for this one, because we have more videos to redo. It was enjoyable, though. The la -ta -ta, I thought Sujin was good. She definitely didn't detract from the band, in my mind. So I'll be interested to see where she's at now with her life several years later uh and with her own blossoming solo career so we'll do that and of course more g idols so keep tuning in neverlanders hit the subscribe if you're not there so you can see the videos coming like comment let us know what you know about the whole controversy do you think they intentionally set soyon's hair on fire my money's on yes i think we review i think we made it very clear through our dissection I, of that I, scene i think it's just her rapping is so good that it... the rapping is fire and so by that so her singing is smoke screen she's got nice notice she has a tattoo on her leg a rather sizable leg tattoo it's always bold to me when people go full calf or something like that the next time we see her if i had to guess she it's would be probably like temporary tattoo you think it's a henna but or i could something? i could be wrong but why do that if you're going to be covered up almost entirely i don't know who knows do they does she have a real tattoo who is that in the band it looks like i'm gonna say uh meon 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 the fire starter i could be wrong though who knows no i think that's her all right well, let us know in the comments. Thank you guys for watching. We really appreciate it. Love to hear from you. And we will be back for more. Cool. Ass. K-pop. On luck. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace.